Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. My name is Safe and today I'm gonna walk you through how to use Unterport to create your sales funnels and track your customers. We have a lot to cover in this video so make sure to watch to the end and let's get started. First let's log in into our account. I will use Google here. Almost there. And here we are. So basically, this is how your own report will look like. You have all these options on the top that you can select from. If you selected your dashboard, you will see like insights of your um, activity. Here you can see all what is related to your own activity. You can also set a new metric from here. Or you can, let's press on it, for example. You can see here all the metrics. You can add a trigger. Now you can also see the trends from here, which are charts that shows you the details related to your account from here. So by moving on to the next section, which is contacts here, you can add a new contact by pressing on this one. And here you can insert all the information related to your contact, regarding contact information, lead information, automations and tags, contact log, automation log, and SMS merge fields. Next, you can also access on calendar and tasks to see the tasks which are related to this contact. You can also see the notes and files related to the contact, purchases, memberships, system information, and coupons. You can also assign uh, a task from here. You can send an email and SMS. You can make an event. You can organize a phone call, a log transaction, and more. We can also delete the contact from here. So by moving on to the next section, which is automations, which will be the key feature that we are going to discuss in this tutorial. So let's just skip it for now and we will return to it later. Here you also have tasks, uh, sales, pages, calendar, and systems. So basically to create an automation, you can create forms, messages, broadcast history. So let's try to create a form from here. You can press a new form to create one of your forms and you can either choose to create ultra form copy existing or smart form for the sake of this tutorial we are gonna pick ultra form and now you have all the templates that you can use to start your own form you can also um, make a form from scratch from here however i do not recommend it if you are new because you will need something to help you so uh, let's pick uh, one of these let's pick the first one for example you can preview it from here it's not in english so let's just choose something in english let's see this one preview okay this one is nice is good enough so i will just uh, start editing on it so first of all, to, to edit on your uh, form, you can just click or, or navigate your mouse to, to any of these cells. And then you can press on this pin uh, sign to just choose how the colors of uh, this section will look like. So by this way, you are changing the, the color. So if you want to change the content itself, you can press on edit in the, in the center. And by pressing on it, you will access on its uh, components so you can edit the text itself from here uh, sign up today for example you can also um, edit uh, the plug background itself you can choose a gradient or you can choose an image you can upload from your own device from here upload image is this i uploaded before so i will just use it insert and bingo so this is basically how you can control and edit uh, your um, cells and so on. So you can just edit this by the same way. You can press on edit here and you will uh, see all the components. You can edit it from here. You can edit background color, text color. You can even place an image. So it's up to you. So by clicking on form here, you can see that you access on all the components of this section that you selected. So you will see that by navigating to each part of them, of these, 
I it's highlighted here so uh, you can just track track it from the left menu and from your own form here are some other um, elements which are hidden so if we pressed on this we will add them and if we close this again they will be returned back to uh, disappear you can also add them from here and delete it totally so that it will not even exist like if I did this it will be totally deleted and not just hidden so this is basically how you can control your own form so um, after you are done you can just name your form let's say tutorial for example and then you can uh, save from here your edits and here it's saved and voila after finishing this you can press on done here then you can select form settings and here you identify the next steps after the user finishes this form so after finishing it it can redirect him to just the default thank you page which if we previewed from here you will find how it looks like so this is basically how it looks like however if you chose to uh, use landing page instead you can uh, use a landing page and select it here so uh, this way the user will be redirected to your landing page after he finishes filling this form so you can save as draft so basically you chose that uh, the user will be redirected to this landing page after he finishes f uh, filling this form now we can save and let's go to publish and here you will find many options you will have three options the first option is automatic light box which is, which is which means that after uh, the user navigates and scroll down to your uh, page or to your landing page this form will pop up after certain percentage and this percentage is identified from here so you can press on display after user scrolls up to 60% of your page so after he scrolls down to 60% this form will pop up in front of him you can also uh, see how much time you want to display it for you can edit all these um, info from here and you can choose if you want to uh, embed it in the page so it will be permanently there setting inside your page or you can just use click to pop light box which is the same concept as button so once a, a user click on a specific button he will uh, be redirected or this uh, form will pop up in front of him so you basically can do this by uh, copying the html from here and adding it to your uh, website or your landing page so this is basically how it's done so now let's return back and see pages from here Here is your landing page that you have added so that the user will be redirected to it after finishing the form. And here you can also manipulate and change and edit your own landing page. Let's just wait for it to load and see how. Here you can choose any of these templates to be your own landing page. For, for example, let's choose the first one. You can select it here. And you can edit your landing page. You can add, add boxes from here. You can add blocks. You can control uh, the template colors from here. You can change the font style, page width. You can also add elements from here, like headline, text, button, and so, and so on and so forth. You can add existing elements by clicking on them and accessing on their properties from here. And you can also access more settings from here, like page background, uh, like custom code, and so on and so forth. So this, this is basically how it works. And of course, it contains more other features that we will not uh, talk about in this uh, tutorial. However, if you are interested in knowing more features uh, for uh, Ontraport, you can just leave a comment below and we will fulfill your requirement. And now you know how to use Ontraport and if it is the right platform for you or not. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys learned from this quick tutorial. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.